Okay, so quick cleanup. I want to show you this. Um, I don't always use this. It depends really on the model. But these vertices over here. Right now this is one massive N-Gon. Which means that we have vertices that are not connected. If we would export this to for example an engine. Uh, two things can happen. Or it can break. Or it will triangulate everything for us. Um, the problem with triangulating everything for us. Which means that it will connect everything automatically for us. Is that we have no control over it. So the problem again with that is for example if you have a high poly model or a um, and you're baking it down you need to have control over your geometry because it changes the way that the smoothing groups work just in general it is more optimized to do it yourself and it's a good practice to do it yourself so i will show you a few techniques now of course um, if i'm not in a rush i tend to just do this and because the cut tool can go double way so i can literally do this i can keep my geometry fairly clean just by connecting it like this so that's uh, the most basic way of just cleaning up your boolean and it is a way that i use uh, one thing that i do want to do is i never want to make my geometry too um like like i don't like this one is a little bit too much almost um if you ever have that stuff i, I would just like continue it on and just place it somewhere else in this case like over here um but <laughs> Sorry, that's not what this tutorial is about. Uh, like, but like these things where it's so cramped together, it's not always good practice. So then it's often better to just do this. Select this edge and press Ctrl Backspace. There you go. So, um, but that's not what this is about. This is about some quicker optimizations. So, let's say I want to just immediately connect all of these. The way that I can do that is I can select this edge, hold Shift and go to Vertex Mode. And if I then simply go ahead and I want to um, press Connect. Okay, so if this happens, so it doesn't always happen perfect. If this happens, it just means that it needs one edge like this. Because uh, it cannot, for example, perfectly connect. If I then press connect, see? Now it will just quickly connect. Now what I wanted to show you, um, hopefully we it happens. So these ones here, sometimes we get double connections. Like here, it cannot see that there is already a connection here and that we don't need one. Same for this one. Um, so that's the thing with the cleanup. You would need to go back in and I would recommend to just press Ctrl Backspace and just get rid of those connections. Now for this one. So here, let's go here. Connect. See, this is more what I was expecting to happen. And then when I connected it, I just often go in and wherever I have like a double edge, just the edge that I like the least, like this one is like the most warped. I just press Ctrl Backspace and I just get rid of it. So that's like another way to very quickly connect. You have less control over it. Like if I would do this by hand, I would probably move this one over here. Um, and then these ones over here and then this one over here. Along with um, and this one over here. And so, so yeah, you can see that this stuff looks a little bit more cleaner and organized and more evenly spaced compared to that. And that's like the issue. Now, another cool thing is um, it has to do with like selection modes. For that, I need... I need something like a, um, you can also use like splice. That's the nice thing about this. Yeah, so if I go do this, and I just extrude this out. Um, it is basically booleans when we are intersecting other shapes. Um, so for example, over here, we have a low poly model that has a few lines. And all of a sudden we have a model that ha has a lot more lines. This is often uh, in booleans, it will make things look quite bad so if we would boolean this what will happen is that the cleanup becomes a lot more so uh, i need set to subtraction start picking there we go so it might look fine but if i go to vertex mode oh convert to the poly vertex mode you can see this you can see all of these um, edges over here now what i was hoping to happen is that we have some loose vertices basically sometimes i don't know if i can replicate yes so sometimes i just press backspace then it will not remove the vertice sometimes booleans show this um it's a use by use case so it doesn't always happen but sometimes the more complicated your geometry is the more chance you have this happening you have loose vertices like this and you sometimes have like hundreds of them so if you have a very complicated high poly model and you're bullying you might have like 100 of them 
Now this trick took me actually quite long before I figured it out, but it's an amazing trick. If you ever have this, if you ever do a boolean and you have loose vertices and these have no value because they don't add anything to the shape. You simply go to selection and you set your edges to 2 and you press select and then it will select every single vertice that is 2 and then you just press ctrl backspace. So doing that it's uh, very powerful to just very quickly clean it up. Now with this kind of stuff uh, I would clean it up if it's very close together just by dragging and collapsing. Remember if you want to drag over here you will most likely select the back but if you turn on ignore back facing you can just like collapse it. Um, some of these pieces I would connect and then we have the target belt option over here which simply you can click and drag vertices over here. What I will do is in the end I will have another chapter for any very small tools that are not big enough for their own thing or that they are too basic enough I should say. I will simply go in and um, I will make one big chapter that will just make me run through some of the tools that I can find that might be useful for you and just like very quickly explain it. So um, if you are more interested in that, those are tools like the target tool and the well tool because they are often very basic, the cap poly tool, those kind of things. Um, have a look at the end. I will make a chapter that I'll just call like, um, um, just like something like extra tools. But basically while I was talking, you can see that now I have cleaned this up and now it's just part of like one mesh. Um, you will break the selection often because if you have multiple connections to one vertice, it breaks the selection mode, the double click selection mode. But in any case, you can still now just select it by hand and you can do your own manipulations however you want. For example, like adding um, chamfers and stuff like that. And so yeah, that's uh, basically it for like some very quick boolean cleanup. And once you get fast in this, um, it will only take like a few seconds to quickly do like a boolean. So that was it for the boolean cleanups.